not just here to tell jokes. I actually want to give back. I want to help white people. I want to be like y'all's black Dr. Phil. Because comics, we don't do much when we're on the road. We stay in the hotel room and watch TV. And I'm flipping through the channels, and I'm watching these, some of these programs like Oprah and Phil, and I'm noticing some of y'all's kids is out of fucking control. I really want to ask white people, why don't y'all beat y'all kids? Beat them, whoop they motherfucking ass. Y'all give y'all kids all kind of timeouts and special places. What the fuck is a special place? To a black child, that's a coma. What is a special place? Black kids don't know shit about time out. We know about getting knocked the fuck out, that's it. My mother used to slap the shit out of me in public and I would look at people for help. Like, shut up. <gasps> White people felt my pain. Oh my God. She just struck her child. Black people see black kids get hit. We like, hey, get your shit together. You know what I found out growing up totally shocked me? White kids are just as shocked to find out black kids don't talk back to their parents as we are when we hear them talk back to theirs. Because I used to have a little buddy would come over my house on the weekends, a little Nate. We'd be in my room playing video games. My mother used to come in the room on us and cuss me out for no reason. Just scare the shit out of both of us, right? We'd be in the room playing Mario Brothers. She'd come kick open the door like SWAT. We on level four, she just Aries, how many times I done told you to clean this motherfucking room? Cut that goddamn game off and clean this room. I come back, this motherfucking room ain't clean. I'm gonna take that Nintendo cord, wrap it around your neck, and stick it in your ass. Nigga, I ain't playing with you. This ain't no threat. This a promise. Try me, motherfucker. Try me. My white friend would turn to me offended, like, dude, what the fuck? She can't do that, man. This is your space. This is your area. She's violating your right to privacy. You should say something. You want me to go say something? I'd be so scared. I started talking to him like a slave from Roots, like, he was gonna get me in troubles. I like you, Nate. I really do. But my parents is good black folk that gives me food, that gives me sleeps. Now you get away from around here with that foolishness. Get from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, Lord. <laughs> My mother smacked the shit out of the white boy. He turned into me. Wait in the water. Mm. <laughs> it's crucial, man. <laughs> I didn't do shit today, man. I sat around the room, smoked weed, watched movies. Because, like, my favorite actor, I got to tell you, is Denzel Washington. That's a cold motherfucker. Denzel got the smoothest walk in show business, don't he? That nigga got that oval bite. This nigga smooth with this shit. And I was always a fan, but I got hooked when I saw Training Day. That motherfucker, because we always saw him play a good guy. I never saw him play a bad guy. And he was cool. I smoked a pound of weed and practiced that shit. <laughs> My girl came home. She thought that motherfucker was in the house. I was, <laughs> Jake. I'm telling you right now, hey, Jake, you want to go to jail or you want to go home? All right, my nigga, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody right here. I'm telling you, my nigga. <laughs> Fellas, I'm telling you, hey, learn that shit. I don't give a fuck how mad your girl is at you. You do Denzel, she ain't going no place. <laughs> She might talk that shit at first. Baby, you need to take some time to think about your shit. You be disrespecting me, I'm leaving you. Hey, baby, I'm telling you right now, put the bag down. <laughs> hey, put the bag down. I promise you, if you stay with me, I'll love you internally, externally, and every way imaginable. Everything I ever am, everything I ever will be, I am because of you. You're my best friend, you're my lover, you're like, motherfucker, I ain't going nowhere. You just need to learn how to respect what I'm saying. <laughs> A lot of movies, man. Like, I like them crazy movies, too. Like, I just saw this movie, 300 Sparta. Anybody see this shit? Yeah. I don't even like them movies for the action or the violence. I like it for the dialogue. That's some smooth shit, the way they talk in the movies. It's like they got their own language. You've heard it before. My lord. It's my lord, but that's how they say it. My lord. Let it be known that Xerxes is a kind god king, and he offers this declaration as an alternative to war. Now let me speak to the nobles, or I will engage with my military. 
And the other character's always some pompous asshole. Hermetheus, please spare me of your banality. This is not about war, this is about my daughter's hand in marriage. So neither try to seduce me nor bore me with the belligerence of your insolence. I be in the theater eating my popcorn like, God damn, who got diabetes? This shit. This shit good. <laughs> There's some ignorant niggas in here that don't even think I said anything wrong. They're like, I don't understand. My grandmama got the insolence. <laughs> <laughs> 